something about the upcoming Starliner mission feels off, and it's not just a small issue. There's a growing sense of unease within the space community. Engineers are speaking up. Astronauts are raising questions. And what was supposed to be a symbol of progress now has many wondering, are we heading into dangerous territory again? First, the Boeing Starliner is supposed to be one of NASA's two commercial crew spacecraft. The other is SpaceX's Crew Dragon, which has been flying safely since 2020. NASA originally planned to have two companies, so there would always be a backup if something went wrong. But here's the problem. Boeing has failed again and again to prove that Starliner is ready. The Starliner program began with strong backing and high expectations. In 2014, NASA gave Boeing a 4.2 billion US dollar contract to develop a crewed spacecraft for the International Space Station. At the same time, SpaceX received a smaller 2.6 billion US dollar contract for its Crew Dragon. NASA wanted two companies to create competition and ensure it had a backup if one vehicle ran into trouble. Boeing, with decades of experience working with NASA, was seen as the safer bet. Many believed it would finish first. But over the years, that belief would be seriously challenged. But even though Boeing received more money, it has fallen far behind. Crew Dragon flew its first astronaut mission in 2020. Starliner still hasn't been approved for regular crew missions. Starliner's first uncrewed test flight in 2019 failed to reach the space station. A software bug caused the spacecraft to burn fuel too early, and it missed its target orbit. If astronauts had been on board, they would have been in serious danger. After that, NASA and Boeing found over 60 different problems that needed to be fixed. Then came the second test flight in 2022. This time, the rocket launched and reached the space station, but it still had problems. Several thrusters failed during flight. And before that flight even happened, the launch was delayed by a year due to stuck valves in the spacecraft's propulsion system. By 2024, after years of delays and technical issues, Boeing's Starliner was finally scheduled for its first crewed mission. NASA selected two experienced astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams, to lead the important test flight that would determine whether the spacecraft was ready for regular human transport. The mission launched on June 5, 2024, carrying the hopes of Boeing, NASA, and many who had worked tirelessly to get the vehicle ready. But almost immediately after liftoff, things began to go wrong. Critical issues started to appear during the flight, casting doubt once again on whether Starliner was truly ready for this challenge. There were helium leaks, there were more thruster failures, and worst of all, Starliner lost control in space, not just once, but multiple times. The astronauts were in a very dangerous situation. At one point, they couldn't control the spacecraft in all directions. NASA has strict rules. If a spacecraft loses its full control in space, the mission should be aborted. But this time, NASA waived those rules. The astronauts did make it to the space station, but when it was time to return home, NASA made a surprising decision. They said the Starliner was too risky to bring them back. So the astronauts stayed on the space station for months and they eventually returned to Earth on a SpaceX Crew Dragon. That's right, the Starliner flew up with crew, but it had to come back down empty. That alone should be a wake-up call. NASA later admitted it didn't fully understand what went wrong with Starliner's thrusters. They discovered new problems even after the spacecraft returned. One of the most serious issues was caused by overheating inside a key valve, which made the thrusters stop working properly. NASA said they couldn't calculate the risk anymore. And yet, even with all these problems, Boeing wants to fly Starliner again. NASA is considering it. This doesn't make sense. The root of the problem goes deeper than just a few technical bugs. Boeing's entire approach has been questioned. People inside the company say the focus shifted from engineering quality to saving money and boosting stock prices. Many experts think that this has hurt Boeing's safety culture. We've seen the effects of this before, like with the Boeing 737 MAX aircraft. Now, similar patterns are showing up in Boeing's space program. Former Boeing workers have said the company cut corners, they skipped safety tests, they approved hardware that wasn't ready, and NASA didn't always catch these mistakes in time. 
Boeing also depends on many external suppliers to build key parts of the Starliner spacecraft. In 2021, one of the biggest failures came from this approach. During a test, several valves in the propulsion system got stuck and would not open. The issue happened because moisture mixed with the propellant, creating a chemical reaction that damaged the valves. Neither the supplier nor Boeing identified the problem early on. This unexpected issue forced engineers to remove the spacecraft from its rocket, caused long delays, and pushed the entire mission schedule back by another full year. There is also the problem of overcomplication. Starliner has 52 thrusters, more than most spacecraft. That might sound safe, but more parts means more things that can go wrong. And in Starliner's case, that's exactly what happened. When a few thrusters failed, it caused a chain reaction, making the spacecraft lose stability. NASA found out that Boeing did not have a single test facility where they could run full simulations of how the spacecraft's software and hardware work together. That means some bugs were only discovered during real flights. This is not how spaceflight should work. Testing should catch problems before astronauts fly. And yet, despite all the issues, NASA still backs Boeing Starliner. So the big question is, why? It all comes down to money, power, and connections. Boeing has been around forever, and they've built deep relationships in Washington, especially with NASA and the military. They spend millions every year on lobbying. Their teams are full of people who used to work for NASA, the Department of Defense, or in Congress. It's like one big revolving door. People go from government jobs to Boeing and back again. So when contracts are being handed out, Boeing always seems to stay in the game, no matter how many problems they have. Here's a perfect example. Back when NASA was funding both SpaceX and Boeing to develop crew capsules, Boeing got more money, a lot more, up front. In 2019, Boeing even got an extra $287 million just to stay on schedule, even though they were already falling behind. Meanwhile, SpaceX, which was ahead and performing better, got nothing extra. It didn't make sense. Later, a government audit suggested NASA overpaid Boeing just to keep them in the race. Let's be honest. If a smaller company made the same mistakes Boeing has, they'd be dropped. No second chances. But Boeing is too big, too connected, and too politically important. They've been part of NASA's history for decades, and now it feels like NASA can't let them fail, even when it's clear the spacecraft isn't ready. But here we are in 2025. Starliner is still in testing. The consequences have already affected the International Space Station. When Starliner stranded the crew for months, NASA had to reshuffle other missions. That limited how many astronauts could work in the U.S. section of the station. It reduced science work and increased stress on the astronauts. As of now, Boeing and NASA are still running tests on the faulty parts. They say 70% of the problems are fixed, but the remaining 30% are serious. They are also redesigning the battery system and the landing airbags, and they are talking about doing another uncrewed test flight first. But even if that flight goes well, how can we be sure that every failure mode has been identified? How can NASA be certain that future astronauts won't face the same dangers? Right now, Starliner is not expected to fly with people again before 2026. That means NASA's goal of having two working spacecraft might not be reached before the space station is retired in 2030. Until every major issue is fixed and every risk clearly understood, sending people on Starliner again would be a serious mistake. It's time for NASA to pause and rethink its next steps carefully. Thanks for watching. See you next time.